My name is Steve Mulholland. I volunteer here at the Man in the Sea Museum. The Man in the Sea Museum is a military diving museum here in Panama City Beach, Florida. We concentrate on equipment used throughout the history of military diving, including the Sea Lab One and items from the Sea Lab program throughout the 60s. The Sea Lab program was to prove saturation diving and that humans could live underwater for long periods of time before they decompress. Instead of doing decompression every day, they could do all their decompression at once at the end of their mission. All military divers go through Bay County for training now, so it's great to have this history located right here in this area. The Sea Lab program was started here in Panama City Beach, and as it grew into Sea Lab 3 and ended, the founders of that program wanted to start a museum to capture all that history. So they got it here in Bay County, and it's been here for 40 years now. We have Sea Lab 1 located outside. Visitors can go inside and actually see how the aquanauts lived for more than 11 days. With Bay County being the home of the military diver, this history is so important to maintain. Most of our visitors here have never even been in the water, so for them to come in and try on a dive helmet, really see what it's like to be in a submarine that went down to 2,000 feet and get to sit inside there, feel how cramped it was and what those pilots had to put up with, it's a really neat experience for them. We invite people to come out, have some fun, try on a diving helmet, put their hands on gear, see an old style pump, and really enjoy some great diving history.